parents and missionaries. So um, I find myself here, in, uh, well, in England. I moved over to Manchester in 2001. I'm going to be 32 next week. 11-11 is my birthday. 11-11, <laughs> that's a significant date. A number, God speaks to me with numbers and all that kind of stuff. So um, my parents came over here to 2001. Uh, as I said, my parents are missionaries. My dad is from Nigeria. My mom is from Ghana. And I was born in Liberia. Uh, that's because my dad was a missionary to Liberia. He was a missionary to Ghana. Obviously, I grew up a bit in Nigeria. And now I'm here in England. And I, I feel like I'm on an assignment here. Um, I do believe God has a purpose for me being here. When I look at you right now, I know God has a purpose for you being in this meeting right now. Uh, things just don't happen. You've got to understand that. Uh, 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 there are things that have already pr been predetermined before we go here. Uh, Psalms 139 says, uh, The days of my life were written in a book before any of them came into being. There is a book about your life. God writes novels. God has, God had a dream and he wrapped a body around it, and that's you. You are the outworking of the desires of God. No one person is a repetition of another thing. We're all uniquely different. And purpose, your purpose existed. God's desire for you existed before you became reality. Look at Jeremiah. Before he was formed in the womb, God knew him because God was already thinking about him. And you know what happens? Where purpose is not known, misuse is unavoidable. What does that mean? If you've never seen a microphone before, or you've never seen an iPad before, you don't know what it is, you, would, you could use it for every other thing apart from the reason why it was created. Because you do not know the purpose. And many people are even in church, serving God, doing church stuff, but still don't know who they are in God. When you know who you are and you start to know who God has called you to be, nothing can stop you. <laughs> Woo! I'm telling you. See, I know this because I am discovering even right now more of who I'm called to be. I used to be shy, insecure, scared. You know, I hated public speaking. You know what I'm doing right now? I hated it. <laughs> because I grew up in the church. My dad did this every day, every Sunday, you know, or every whatever. I, I, I've, I've been, I was born in the church. I can say I've been to church more than Jesus. <laughs> because I've been to the churches that Jesus wasn't there. <laughs> I just want to say that. I thought that was funny. 